Erica, we're going to start with this number. Illinois' positivity rate is a relatively low 2.6%. However, COVID-19 is still with us, and some public health officials are concerned that if in the general public we don't continue to take our precautions, hospitals could be overwhelmed. Though Illinois has done a good job of masking up, distancing, and slowly opening up, the science shows there's still need to be vigilant. We weren't overwhelmed in Illinois, but we got close. From a recent low of 462 on June 22nd, the number of cases has modestly ebbed and flowed, with 724 new cases confirmed today. That pales in comparison to Florida, which last reported 7,793 new cases in one day. If there is a future uptick or spike here, how prepared are we? Our medical systems and care can absolutely, care systems can absolutely be overwhelmed. There's no doubt that that can happen. And as a health official, how does that sit with you? It makes me scared. It makes me nervous. It Dr. Rachel Rubin with the Cook County Department of Public Health starts with reasons not to be nervous. We know more about how the disease is spread, implemented isolation practices in hospitals, and locally we test and contact trace. But those measures depend on a public that doesn't let down its guard. It's got to be almost everybody doing this. Though hospitals that once struggled have managed to find adequate protection for workers, concerns remain. Is that problem behind us now? The problem is not behind us because there are fundamental challenges in the supply chain across the world. Economics forced many hospitals to furlough workers. Sean O'Grady is with North Shore University Health System. How might that impact being able to handle a surge? The good part about furloughs is that we have the ability to call people back at a moment's notice. North Shore successfully funneled patients to a special standalone COVID facility, but there is a human factor to take in if numbers spike. I think that we're tired. I think that uh, people are fatigued. It is grueling uh, and certainly is, is a challenge for those people who put themselves on the front lines to be caregivers every day. North Shore University Health System here in Evanston is one of the hospitals saying they feel prepared. Rush University Medical Center also saying it feels prepared. However, Public health officials are saying even if these hospitals have a blueprint, they know how to handle things. If we don't do our part in the general public, if we don't continue to take COVID-19 seriously, these institutions could be overwhelmed. And overwhelmed, if you read through the lines, that means could lead to a loss of life for patients who come here if the system is strained. Reporting live in Evanston, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Okay, so Vince, let's talk about McCormick Place. Are there any plans in place for the state to reactivate it if it comes to that for COVID patients? Well, Erica, we all saw the massive center that was put together there. I reached out to the state today and couldn't really get a concrete answer on that. However, when I did speak with other health administrators, they did say that there are plans in place throughout the state to have standalone centers, perhaps not on the scale of McCormick Place, but if there is a surge and if there is a need for more beds, that these areas, these particular buildings could be activated. But I'm just going to say it once again, don't think you can say it enough. The hospitals have their part to do, but the public has its part to do as well and both have to work together to make sure that the whole system isn't overwhelmed. Yeah, great point to emphasize there. Thank you, Vince.